On February 1, 2003, the Space Shuttle Columbia was returning after a successful 16-day orbiting mission. A little over an hour before landing, telemetry anomalies appeared. Sensors in Columbia's left wing went silent. The capsule was still 200,000 feet above sea level and at Mach 18 speeds when Capcom asked about tire pressures. Commander Rick Husband replied only one word, Roger, then the signal cut off. Moments later, TV cameras over Texas captured Columbia breaking into pieces. All seven crew members would have died instantly. On the launch day, January 16th, at T plus 82 seconds, a 4.5 pound chunk of foam fell from the external tank's bipod ramp and struck Columbia's left wing. Unknown at the time, this impact breached a reinforced carbon panel. 16 days later, during re-entry on February 1st, as Columbia was coming home, heat leaked through the wing breach. At 8.59 a.m., Houston asked about the left side tire pressure. Husband answered Roger, then only silence was heard. Houston, we see your tire pressure messages and we did not copy your last. Roger. About 12 minutes later, the orbiter tore apart over Texas as the public watched in horror. The crew transmitted no emergency call. Mission Control attempted contact after the cutoff, but by then, debris was seen falling through the sky.